Hello and welcome to another edition of Experts Login Video on Linux Commons. Today I'm gonna tell you about 64 basic Linux commands that you can use in your everyday life to manage your home PC or server. I'm working on Fedora, but you can use any other RPM-based or even JEP-based distro. Let's begin. The most basic command in Linux is ls. It's just a list command which shows your current directory you're working in. You can also use human readable format flag lh to see the more detailed list of the current directory. And you can also use the etc postfix, for example, to re review the contents of etc folder or any other folder you want. Next important command is pwd, which means print working directory. Here you can check this out, we are working on home live user. Um, the next important command is change directory. You can change directory to the downloads, for example, and check this out with pwd command. OK, here we are, and you also can uh, get the upper level uh, with the cd and two dots command. So we are now in the home live user directory. OK. Another uh, useful command is touch. It just creates empty file for you. Empty dot file. Uh, you can also create empty directory with the uh, make um, directory command. Uh, empty dir. Okay. Uh, now we want to uh, add some text to file. With we can use echo command to do this. You can just type in echo hello world to get the echo of hello world and you can also add the quotation mark here to add text to the, our empty file it will also create file for you if it doesn't exist now let's try to read from this file we can use cat command to read from the file okay we can see that hello world is there Another important command is head and tail. We can use it to read the beginning and the ending of the file. I will become a super user with the su command and try to read a head of var log xorg log file. This is the beginning of the file. And also I can read the tail, the ending of this file with the xorg log. Okay, this is the ending of the file. Let's exit root user. Uh, another what uh, uh, things that we have to do with files is copy and move them of course we can copy our uh, empty file which is not empty for now with a cp command for example empty file uh, text file so we now have text file let's check this out text file and we can also move our file with the mv command for example mv text file empty directory so it is now inside let's check this out empty directory so it's inside and now we have to re uh, rename our directory with the same command um, to the full okay we have the full directory let's get inside let's check uh, it contents we have the text file inside let's read it yeah it has a hello, hello world text so let's exit this folder we can also delete folder for example or files with the rm uh, command rm empty file and also we can remove directories with rm dir command for example templates so we don't have a template folder anymore the next important command is uh, chmod, which means uh, change modes, uh, ch own, which means uh, change owner and change group. Ch group. Uh, we can use it with the parameters to change file permissions, to change file owners, and to change uh, groups uh, of file. Uh, I will explain this in another video, uh, or you can read this in the internet or at experts login videos uh, and website. Um, so I can show you example chmod 777 on our folder full directory and we can check this out with ls-lh so our folder is here 
and we have all rights on this folder so everybody can use it to add files or delete files in the same way we can change groups and users okay uh, to know a little bit more about file that we have we have a file command for example file lesson 2 pdf and we see that lesson 2 pdf is pdf document version 1.5 we also have more and less command uh, to get a row by row or page by page output. Let's check this out. I will become root um, and I will try to read var log xorg log with the last command. So I'm reading it row by row and also screen by screen. Yeah, uh, I'm pressing Q to quit and I'm exiting the root user. Another useful comment is find. Uh, the syntax is a uh, little bit differs from distro to distro, so we can find file txt by uh, executing the, this command. Uh, but we don't have file txt for now, so let's create it. So you can see that we have file txt in here, and uh, this command also search uh, inside the folders. Uh, we also have a locate a command which is uh, executed uh, nearly the same, uh, just we don't have to add anything on the file txt. So, uh, we also have the useful command which uh, lists our show, uh, shows our history of run commands. So, history, and we uh, can see what we've run before. We also can run the same command again using uh, this mark and the number of the command. So we're executing su. Let's exit su. Um, uh, to continue uh, to know a little bo bit more about our users, we can type users. And we see that we are a live user and our group is live user. We also have a command w which shows our little bit more information on, on currently working users. Uh, also we have command who am I which shows our user and ID which shows us a little bit more advanced information on uh, our user. Another useful comment is what is and where is. For example, we don't know about some program. We want to know what is password. Uh, we don't have such program, so maybe what is uh, cat? No. Uh, then what is uh, what is? Okay, it's it's works strangely, but it should show our uh, uh, us information about uh, programs. Maybe what is ID? We just uh, don't have the database. Maybe because we're working on the live system. Okay, let's check another comment. Where is where is ID? Okay, it works. So it shows us where is the ID command, where the file with the command is. Uh, the directory of this file, yeah. So we can run it with bin id, the same as we're running id, okay. So we can find uh, where is uh, some program lays in the, our uh, file system. We also have time comment which just shows our the um, process of, of execution time. We can try it with time where is mm, or where is password file so it shows that uh, executing of uh, where is passed uh, took uh, 8 milliseconds okay it's useful for debugging or for testing uh, heavy commands we also have command man which shows us a manual on some stuff we can use man man to read a manual about manual or we can use man id to read something about id command that I've executed before. Uh, also we have important command grep which source, uh, searches for text rows in a file, pipe or std in. For example we can use it to find errors in our log file. Let's become super user and let's try to manage the xorg. Okay. So we see that we have a row with the error word here and it's printed uh, to the terminal. 
Also, important comments in working with the uh, disk is FDisk. You can check the uh, your disk partitions with the FDisk minus L command, so we can see the partitions that your disk has. Uh, know that you will have to be a root user to execute this command. Uh, as I already said, I used su command, which means switch user, to become a root user. You can also add username uh, to become this user, and you will have to type in the password, of course, if it if if this user has password. You can also use su uh, do command to execute a program as another user. For example, you can execute a disk like this. Also, there is a mount command which helps you to mount partitions on the disk. For example, I have third partition on disk 1, which is uh, to have SDA3, and I want to uh, check the files on this partition. I can execute this command, and afterwards I can just cd to mntsd3 folder to review the contents of this disk. Another important comment is date. It's just to know current date, Friday, March 8. Okay. Um, if uh, while working with the networks, you have to use command if config. It will show you current configuration of local interfaces, of Ethernet interfaces, wireless interfaces, and everything about uh, internet interfaces settings. So remember the IP config command. Uh, to work with network a little bit more, I have a ping command for you, which just pings a, re a remote resource, or, and also we can perform a trace route on some remote resource. Uh, sorry, trace route. Uh, route. Okay, and uh, it will have it will be executed in time. We have to wait. Okay, I will cancel this command. Uh, to continue, we also have who is command, which will show information about domain name. We have D command, which will show in, uh, information on DNS, for example, D, uh, Google DNS servers. So it shows our uh, DNS records. We have also NSLOOKUP command, for example, NSLOOKUPLinkedIn.com. And it shows us the IP address of LinkedIn.com. Uh, we also ha have hostname command, which just prints out current hostname, and you can also set your hostname with this command. We have uh, wget. Uh, this command helps us to download a file from web. You can also use the flag min minus "-o", to, um, to put the file name you want. For example, it will save the yandex.true to file.html file. We also have text editors, nano and v. We can use them uh, by executing uh, their names or we can add a file name as a parameter to open inside these text editors. They are console based but you can use uh, graphical text editors if you want. Uh, the next import command is du. It shows the disk usage of a directory. For example, du-lh current directory. So it shows that current directory um, is 22 megabytes on size, and also we can review any other directory size. Also have df command, which shows us uh, information about file system usage in a whole system. It is useful enough uh, for debugging stuff and checking our hard drives and mounting drives. We can also execute mount command to find what uh, file systems are mounted without working on mount. Also we have useful free command which shows us uh, current RAM memory and swap usage. You can review it here. We also can check uh, the processes that uh, took our memory with the top command here. So we are, can see that GNOME Shell took our 14% of the CPU. It's because I'm working from the virtual box. Um, another important command to manage is PS you can run it with aux parameter to review uh, processes of all users. Okay, here they are. We also can use kill uh, command to kill uh, any uh, process. We just have to type in uh, PID of the process, or we can use kill all command with the process name. For example, kill all Firefox will close your browser. 
another important command is clear it just clears up a terminal and if your ter terminal is not working well you can just type reset you can even don't see uh, that you're typing it but you have to type reset and press enter and it will recreate the terminal for you this is very useful command and you can use it if your terminal works strangely and you can see any input in your term terminal you just have to type in reset and press enter also we have the shutdown and reboot command for example shutdown now will uh, turn off your pc uh, at this moment and you can also specify time like this uh, shut down this will shut down in 10 minutes and this will shut down at 9 pm okay also we can execute any command with using at for example i want to ping five times yeah point true with that command i can do it like this so this command will be executed at uh, 21 o'clock also we have a logout command which will uh, log us out and we have exit command which will close the terminal for us so this is the summary of 64 basic linux commands by using these commands you can basically work in your file system you can read directories you can enter them you can remove them and you can do whatever you want if you want to know a little bit more just enter the expertslogin.com website or google for any stuff you want thanks for watching bye